Hello guys and welcome back. Jama here and for today, tuturo ko sa inyo kung paano gamitin yung program to check yung temperatures ng mga parts ng laptop or desktop mo. You may use this in case bumibili ka ng mga second hand na parts for your desktop or bumibili ka ng laptop na second hand or in case meron kang desktop or laptop na curious ka lang kung bakit parang ang bagal or you wanna check kung nag-overheat na ba or baka naman matagal na unit na yan and you want to make sure na things are working properly. Pero kahit ano pa doon ang maging reason mo, you can definitely use this free and safe software. Actually, ginagamit ko na to for a few months now and I'm pretty much satisfied sa performance niya. So, wag na natin patagalin. Today, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-download, mag-install, mag-run and kung paano i-interpret yung mga values sa HW monitor. So, without further ado, Fire up your laptops and PCs. Let's jump in, guys. So, guys, ma access mo tong software na to by searching sa Google HW Monitor or just click the link na nasa description. It will take you to this site. Tapos, babaka lang under downloads. Click on download now and it will start. So, you can have a copy of this program sa ibang hard drive mo or Dropbox or kung saan mo siya gustong isave sa Google Docs para you have it anytime you need and you can install it as well on multiple laptops or desktop so for this one guys since and dami information dito i will give you a cheat sheet later on sa uh, later part ng video na to but uh, ang mga important lang naman na kailangan mo i-take note dito is yung minimum maximum and yung value so ang ibig sabihin ng value is yung real time na reading niya yung minimum is yung lowest na nabasa niya recently yung maximum naman is yung pinakamataas na naging reading niya in more or less siguro mga a few hours or a few minutes na ginagamit mo yung PC mo. So personally, yung tinitignan ko lang dito is CPU vCore, meaning voltage that the CPU is receiving. The Intel Core temp, so yung package temp, more or less yung collective temperature ng CPU mo. And also yung GPU or Intel HD graphics for your graphics card. So nakita nyo naman, di ba, napakasimple lang yung gamitin. And definitely, kahit hindi ka on the techie side, kayang-kaya mo to. So be sure to check the download links on the description down below. And also check my playlist. Kasi baka itong tutorial na to is part of the playlist that I made for laptops, desktops, window shortcuts, at tips and tricks para ma-boost yung productivity mo. Again, if you like these types of videos, guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up, guys, because by doing the thumbs up, natutulungan nyo tong channel para ma-push yung mga content natin further into YouTube search results. And aside from that, kung gusto mo yung mga videos na ginagawa ko, be sure to subscribe para maging part ka every time na nag-upload ako ng new videos. Again, John Mack here. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you on my next new episodes. Peace out.